Nothing stands still. Absolutely everything in nature goes through cycles and seasons of change. And you and I are no exception. Today we are talking all about seasons of change. I absolutely love this topic and it's something that is very meaningful and significant in my own life. A lot of times when authors and philosophers talk about the seasons of change, they really make it very specific where the four different seasons correspond to different specific times in our life. Today we're going to be talking about it in a much more general term. So we're thinking about the seasons of change as simply the different phases that we go through during our lifetime. The different phases or seasons in our life often include different people, different places that we live, different occupations, different interests, different levels of personal health and well-being, and different really viewpoints that we hold about the world. I think a lot of times we mentally understand that nothing lasts forever and that there's always going to be change, but sometimes we find ourselves really holding on to seasons that need to pass. We may find ourselves longing for times that we perceive had better relationships or we were in better health or we had aspects of our lives that were really missing in this season of our life. But it's important to remember that all the different seasons and phases of our life are really, really important and each one is part of our path. We will experience a lot of sadness if we continue to hold on to these seasons when it is time for them to go. We have to remember that they can always be a part of who we are as a person. They'll always certainly be part of our memories, but we do need to understand and appreciate that we are living in this moment and this season is just as important as the seasons before. So remember and cherish all the seasons of your life, but think about being fully immersed in whatever situation you are in now because Every season has lessons that we need to learn. Every season has blessings that are for us. If we are constantly looking towards the past, we oftentimes really fail to see all the good things in this season because we're always really wishing we were in another time. Everything in this life is intentional. So if there are things in our life that have been brought in that we feel are negative or complicated or things that we really can't understand or things that do make us really, really sad, we have to understand that that is part of our process. That is something that we are meant to experience for a good reason. When we can better understand this thought process, we can understand how life really needs us to evolve as people. And we can better understand why these things are important to be in our life right now. Why it's important that we're in this season and that we're not still dwelling in the seasons of the past. And if we are having trouble accepting that, we need to really develop a sense of optimism again. We need to have a sense of wonder and curiosity for the road ahead. We don't want to be constantly looking behind us because we're not going in that direction. We we are going forward and we have no idea what amazing things the universe has in store for us. We need to be able to continue on that path to be able to experience that. When we can appreciate where we are now, we can fully experience all the potential good that is there and there's always good. But if we really are still struggling, however, what are some of the things that we can do to kind of help us really be more accepting of that season that we're in? One of the things that we can do that I personally do and has been really helpful to a lot of my clients is to go ahead and temporarily put away artifacts from your past seasons that kind of really spark sadness in your life right now. So it could be photographs or it could be even items of clothing, but anything that really strongly reminds you of times that you're trying to move away from now, it is a little bit easier sometimes to have those things less visible so that you can focus on the here and now. And remember that in the future, you may feel a lot more emotionally healthy and emotionally strong and feel that it's perfectly acceptable to have these things in even very prominent positions in your house. 
But for now, if you're experiencing sadness every time you look at them, maybe it's better to put them away. Another thing that we can do is to instead surround ourselves with things that inspire us now, things that have to do with what is exciting and interesting in your life at this current moment. So if you are trying a new hobby or if you have a new job or a new relationship or have different new friends, maybe make those prominently displayed in your home or other places so that you can, again, pull yourself into this present moment and be less likely to again focus on the past. Another thing that is really important is to make sure that you're addressing the feelings that you do have. So we don't want to really be pushing these feelings down. We want to be allowing ourselves to experience them, but we want to do it in a way that is constructive for us. So one good thing to do is to do, you know, self growth journaling or reflective journaling and really help to get those emotions out and really understand and be sympathetic with yourself with how you are feeling. It is hard to change change from the different phases in our life, especially if they were really happy or really comfortable. A lot of times, somewhere inside of us, we have the sense that the time that has passed was the best time in our life and nothing could ever compare, which is very rarely the case. So we want to, again, be thankful and appreciative of all those wonderful phases and moments in our life, but again, embrace and be optimistic about what the future holds for us. And another thing that we can do that kind of goes hand in hand with that is spend enough time in self reflection or even meditation to really pull us again into that present moment and to think about all the positive, wonderful things in this season. Because again, we're focusing on the negative or we're focusing so much on all the positive things from the past, it is unlikely we're going to really be able to completely see all the beauty and goodness in this current season now. Get yourself excited about the future and only you know how to do that that. Think about the things that inspire you, things that you have always wanted to do that you can finally include in your life now, but think about all the things that would take your life to that next level. There's always the potential for immense greatness, for excitement, for making your life more extraordinary than it ever was before. So really allow yourself to be present in this beautiful season that you have now and accepting of all the things that are part of it. Maybe there are difficult things. Maybe there are big changes and that's okay. Change can be scary, but change can also be the window to the most amazing experiences of your whole life. Remember, the universe really does always have your back. So trust yourself trust your path and know that the future is always leading to good. So I hope this video was helpful and inspiring to you and I just wish you so much luck and love in this wonderful new season of your life. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone else who may need to hear this message today, and also definitely become a subscriber because we want you to stay completely connected. I thank you so much for spending time with me today and I greatly look forward to seeing you next time. Have an absolutely amazing day.